We haven't done this in a while. I forgot how to do it. You too. All right, guys. So today we're going to do a Q and A. Yes. We put some questions. We put a a dang <laughs> question thing up on the Instagram stories. Yeah, we're gonna get into the questions, yes. and then we have a surprise towards the end, which yes. you probably already know what that is based on the title of the video. We might not put it at the end, so you don't scroll ahead and watch it. It might be in the middle. You don't know. <laughs> so we'll see. Question number one: How far along were you when you started on the nursery? I think. We may have been like in the 20 week mark when we started because we like redid the entire room. So I we got new at all. Car we got new like flooring, painted. Yeah, if you haven't watched our nursery tour video, we'll leave the link in the description. But I would say we started around like 20 ish to 25 weeks. Yeah. And then finished. We're honestly not in there a lot. That's one thing that <laughs> I Which think. Which we is did not expect that. I was so stressed out about having the nursery ready and we are never in there. As of yesterday, she sleeps in her room. Yeah, she's in her portable, I call it the portable crib. Whatever <laughs> her little is. bassinet. Her bassinet. Thing. We moved it in there only because it was easier for like the camera to shoot down in there. Yeah. But we had the bassinet right by our bed until last night and it worked amazing. It was last incredible. night was awesome. She like, slept the best she slept. Yes, yeah, like there was like three and a half hour stretches, but and we have a little screen that we can monitor her and hear her crying. Other than that, other than her sleeping in there last night, we are never in there yeah. other than to like grab her clothes for what she's gonna wear every day. Yeah, and we have a really- grab, like extra diapers. I feel like when she's older, we'll start. When she's older, we'll definitely yeah. be in there more. But like, we have a really comfy chair out here, TV. So like if she's pumping- Yeah, which we'll get into that too, but- It's like, just comfortable out in the living room. We basically live like in the living room, our bedroom, in your office. Yeah. That's it. So. On to the next one. Overall, don't worry about the nursery, like having it ready when baby's born. Cause nine times out of 10. It, yeah, I mean, for us, it worked out great. Yes. I'm sure other people, like we have a rocker in there and stuff. You'll see in and the like, picture or the video if you I watch it. I feel like the first day or two home, we actually were in there a lot because that was when I wasn't pumping. We'll get into it. It's not even worth discussing. Yeah. Right the now. first couple of days we were in there a lot, but. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, we are out in the living room. It's just so much more family friendly. Yeah. That's Comfortable. A good way to put it. Next. What are you most scared slash excited about with baby Iris? You can start. You guys already know what I'm gonna say. I'm thinking about when she's 16 years old and those dudes uh, are like, I wow, just, she's pretty. I feel like it's so hard for me to even visualize her as being 16 because she's so tiny. I'm gonna go. Oh, cry. there she goes. <laughs> I'm not I think she wants me. Okay. Small child too. We're gonna continue. She's just a little upset. She's trying too hard. She's got gas like her mama. <laughs> she does have really bad gas all the time. Okay. okay, anyway, so what we're most scared of slash excited about with baby Iris. You said you're scared of when she's older. I wouldn't say scared, I'm just um, I know when that time comes and she's like 16 and she wants to start dating. I'm gonna be so protective. I mean, look at this. Look it's at my her baby. Head. I think she pooped. She did because she stinks. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice her and steam. steamy. Also, just the way the world is going right now, you know? I it's think that's scary. something that I was super scared about, like, mm -hmm. especially with the election and just everything that you were like hearing about, not even like who's in office, but just. It's just so scary to think about like what they're going to deal with. Yeah, and they're, like, when they're evil, our age. And there's a lot of evil people in the world. Yes. So exactly. I would say the biggest thing is just like her safety yes. and making sure she's protected. I agree. I know she'll choose the that. best, the best guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> she's like panting. <laughs> we just fed hungry? you, man. You're not hungry. You're not hungry. Okay, baby. You're not. Yeah, so I would say her safety, making sure that she's living her best life and that yes. she's okay always. And always healthy. Baby. And bobbing her head. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny. I think she's hungry again. All she does is poop, eat and sleep That's and cry. That's joke. it. Next question. What are you most excited about? You go first. I'm most excited to just watch her change and grow and learn how to do things because she's already changed so much in just a month, which I think yeah. is crazy. Like even like the way she looks and how she acts. <laughs> her neck's getting stronger. Like she, <laughs> she's moving her neck back herself now. Big girl. Yeah. 
And she's just so awesome. And I'm just excited to like watch you with her. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to just be able to talk to her. You know, I know, I think and like make that's her laugh and what you're most excited for. Have, you know, see what her personality is like, interaction. Right now she can't talk. Um, she communicates. Like if I try to like make her laugh and stuff, I don't know if she gets it yet. No. You know. <laughs> It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby, mama. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just to <laughs> learn about her personality, who she's going to be as a person, what she, <laughs> what she believes, and just play with her and all that stuff. <laughs> Communication. <clears throat> uh, goals for 2021 as a family and personal goals. So what are our family goals? Family goals are to raise her to be the best one-year-old ever. Yes. Um, to be the best parents of her yes. and because this is obviously like a very new experience for both of us so we don't yeah. really know to keep our doing. relationship number one yes always and make sure that we're both you know putting an effort to yeah. keep dating and stuff like that yes. which it's very just having a newborn it's like so much energy and focus and i think you forget like the days go by so fast like january the month Oh my gosh. She was born the 8th. Yeah. It's February now. Yeah. It felt like it was a week long, the month of January. Yeah. Crazy fast. It's like just... Like every day just like goes... Yes. <laughs> but we want to keep... I mean, we've been... Oh. We've had a date at least once a week. Right. Since the first since, week, honestly. Right. Oh, yeah. I would say, if not the first week, it was at least like the second. I think it was the first week, though, that we were home. Yeah, literally. That we the went first out week to we, dinner. We went out to eat. My She's mom came watching. over and watched. She's looking at me. <laughs> um, I love you. But we try to make sure that we do that once a week and we have. Yeah. It's very important to us. And even if we're not like going on a date, we're still hanging out. I mean, we're here together. Yes. She's on maternity leave. Exactly. And we're helping each other out. Like when she pumps at night. Oh yeah, that's a big thing. I feed her while she pumps. Yes. So she's not doing everything right. by herself oh because that gosh. would be a ton. I don't know how women who are alone I, do I don't it. either. Like, like props to you. Yes, seriously. Because if I didn't have you to even just like feed her, mm -hmm. I would spiral. I already know okay. it. Because I even have days where, I mean, I feel overwhelmed. And it's not because he's not helping. It's just because there's so much that you feel like you have to do as a mom. So Especially if you're pumping oh my god if you're because you're doing that every like two pumping. to three hours yeah every day so i don't nurse her like i don't sit there and like feed her myself i pump and then we both can feed her yeah. only because just like it wasn't for me it's yeah. not for everyone at all but i mean if you pump then other people can feed her exactly so we've, and we've used your breast milk the whole time the entire like, time no yeah. formula i mean you're producing which there's nothing milk. wrong with a lot of milk but there's really <laughs> nothing wrong with formula at all no nothing no. wrong with it um, but I'm just saying like since you're pumping you like want to keep your supply up. Oh, yeah So I pump every it. two to three hours, which I question Stopping that every five seconds, but it's worth it and I just have such an oversupply <laughs> yeah. of breast How many milk. ounces we, of breast milk do you have? I don't really like talking about it because uh, it makes true. I mean, I, I'm gonna talk about it right now, but like I don't like feeling like I'm bragging about it because I know there are women who aren't as lucky or, you know, but yeah, I like who just can't produce and right, it's not their and fault. It's not their like fault. formula is completely fine. Yes. That is best. But we have 948 ounces of breast milk <laughs> in the freezer In the freezer. And I question like, Oh my goodness. Like what we're going to do with all of this. So either I'm going to donate it if we, because in a month producing almost a thousand ounces, I just feel like that's kind of a lot. I it think every day I pump maybe like seven times a day yeah. on average and I produce like 85 <laughs> ounces of milk It's crazy. Time. So It's a thing to witness. Yeah, which I'm so grateful and I'm very blessed, but mm -hmm. it is exhausting. So And she'll leave the link to the the pumper, whatever, oh, the yeah. boob pumper. Which I have developed some kind of like obsession with pumping my boobs because I look at breast pumps every single day and I want to buy a new one every day. Yeah, she wants to get one that she can like walk around and it still yes. pumps. Yeah, the one she's been using has been working great. So we'll link that yes. below. Yes, yes, yes. So, but again, that is best. Whatever you want to feed your baby yep. is fine. 
Um. It's about to pass. She's pretty much. You don't want to sleep. Do you have any conflicting parenting views? No. No, and I think that a big part of that is because we discussed those very early on in our relationship. I think just like in general conversation, not that we like. Yeah. Talked about having babies. If you have major like day one, but disagreements on how you want to raise a child. You should talk about I that. I mean, that's like a red flag in a relationship. Like before not, you have a child. Yes. <laughs> we already knew that. Like we talked before she got pregnant about how we wanted to raise our child, everything. everything. And we were in like, agreement with every single thing. In regards to like schooling. Schooling, religion. Vaccines. Everything. Everything. So. There's nothing. Right. Nothing. But again, if you're like looking for a serious relationship, that's definitely a question. Topic. Yeah. Talk about future you need to talk children. About. If you want kids. And if you don't, that's also a topic. We don't really have any opposing views on anything. Like, <laughs> no. take children out of it as far as relationships yeah. go, like world views. Like what we think about everything things, yeah. is the same. That's why we work so well in our relationship. It's awesome. Any more babies? Possibly. There's Not a for chance. at least two years, though. Like, it's not even like that it's a lot. It's just such a change from, like, even being pregnant. Like... I was so uncomfortable and I mean I would take this over being pregnant the last month any day but like you were able to lot. sleep through the night yeah <laughs> yeah it's like the weirdest thing ever so you get extremely tired but you don't really care like yes. it's a good it's like it's you don't understand until you have a child yes so all you parents out there you know exactly <laughs> you know what we're talking, we're about, talking about but it's a big <laughs> responsibility it's life-changing for the oh, better, but absolutely. if you're like a very selfish person then, or you don't work well with your partner, oh like God. if you don't, if you have arguments with the person you're with all the time, do not have a child. <laughs> no. It will never work. Never. Because you have to have so much support. Like we support each other. And you have to be very understanding because even like as a woman, like going through such a huge like change within like your body, your hormones. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm very lucky to where I'm not experiencing, like, postpartum depression. I'm not experiencing anything wild. But I do have days where I'm super emotional. And I just can't help that. And as long as you have a partner that's, like, willing to listen to why you're emotional, even if you don't really know why you're emotional, it's very nice. Yeah. It's just so weird. Like, you think that you don't have those, like, maternal instincts or, like, paternal at all. Like, but you do. It's so weird. I had never changed a diaper before in my life, <laughs> but Me neither. it's just like, it just happens. Like you just do it. Yeah. Or even like, so the first, when For she was sure. born, the first two days, I strictly just breastfed. And that, those were probably like the hardest days, like the night in the hospital. And then the first night mm -hmm. we were home, those were like the hardest. I don't think I slept at all because I was just like nursing her the entire time. And I had to sit down with myself and be like, yes, I'm kind of like giving up, but I'm not. Like she's still getting breast milk, so. I would say like the the second night is probably the hardest. Yes. Like the first night you're still on this like high adrenaline rush. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, and Jacqueline Ennis. Yeah. I remember I like that. was DMing her cause she had her child, her baby like, was it like three weeks before you? Something or like something? that, yeah. And I was like, how is it, whatever. And she said the second night is like the, the toughest. Mm -hmm. And it was the second night for us, I would say, was, was the toughest. Yeah. I think I honestly sat in her nursery, like, boobs out. Like, she, <laughs> she was just, like, yeah. feeding all night. Like, I got yeah, maybe an like, hour asleep. Seriously, like, every, every, like, they go on a feeding spree. Yeah. So it's, like, every hour <laughs> yeah. they want food. Oh, yeah. And I was, like, there's no point in me going to bed. Like, I'm just going to sit here. And I was thinking to myself, like, if I do this every night, I will go into some kind of like deep depression mm -hmm. like there was which no it didn't last like that like it, no i mean like last night she went three hours at a time between feedings yeah it was almost like, like three she'd and feed, a half she'd even. go three hours sleep perfectly feed again which is awesome oh yeah you know if you can go three gets, to four hours people tell you like it gets better and even after like a month like it's it gets better every day like yes there are nights where she just like doesn't want to sleep but it's okay yeah i would say like she's a month tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I would say we've had 
maybe Only four a, to five max if that, days that, yeah. or nights right. where she has just like not wanted to sleep and have been pretty bad, and which is even, not bad from No, home. it's not. And like, I honestly don't blessing. even remember those nights. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah. Now. It's but, not like I hold those nights like mm -hmm. over our head to where like I'm like scared. No. Even though sometimes I do dread the evening. <laughs> That's not and usually if she has a bad night, the next the next <laughs> night's way better because yeah, she's tired because she was up all night crying, yeah. going, Mommy, I need more milky. How is your mental health post baby? So like both of us, both of our mental health. How's your I think we kind of just talked about that. Yeah. Neither of us have had. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, mentally. Yep. <laughs> mentally, neither of us have had postpartum depression. Correct. And I am... I, don't know. <laughs> I would say mentally we're both in a good place. Yes. Because we support each other. Yes. Like if I just. Oh my gosh. Like at night, even when. So I try to space it out to where like I'm pumping when she's eating. Because they say to keep your supply up, you should pump like every two to three hours. Yeah. But at night, I stretch it out to four hours because mental health. Exactly. Do what's best for you. And um, so even when. It's like, she's hungry, but I don't need to pump. He'll feed her and I will just like lay there yeah. and try to sleep. I mean, in the middle of the night, like deep into the night, I usually feed her twice. Yes. It's usually like, pump. yeah. So like, it, it's, it varies, but I would say like 3 a.m. I feed her and then like 6-ish right. I feed her. Yeah, and I think this morning it was even like 7. Yeah. Which was awesome. It's not, you know, yeah. but, you know, whatever. And then I'll bring her out here, like, into the living room in the kitchen. And it's, like, her and I are starting our day. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, she'll fall asleep for a while, and then I'll be able to nap. I think, to me, like, sometimes I would go to sleep when she went to sleep. And I know that's what they say to do. But I prioritize, like, hanging out with you in the evenings, yeah. like, when she's asleep. Because it helps me mentally when I can spend time with my baby. Yeah, last night we put her in bed at like 9.30 and she slept till like what? I think it was 12.30? Like, I thought it was even later than that. It was at least 12.30. So we had yeah. alone time to talk and we basically just go in my office and like talk. Yeah. And hang out and be alone and... Yeah. Shut the door. Shut the door <laughs> and just, you know, have yeah. that alone time. Yes. Bam! That's it for the questions. We're going to get her ready for bed, but we're going to do something. I'm going to do something. I'm actually really nervous about it. I'm nervous. I'm gonna try her breast milk. <laughs> and I have a friend coming over who's gonna try it too. Because we have to have other opinions. I'm just so interested. You know, like, we I'm can't just have my opinion. Right. So my friend Steven is on the way. When he gets here, we'll videotape oh. us trying it. I hate, don't really drink milk. I don't know the last time I drank milk out of a cow booby. <laughs> But it's been years. Not a milk fan, but I'll try her milk any day of the week. I could love it. And I, I could want it every day. I bet it's good for you. Yeah, but it's going to be a warm bottle of milk. I'm going to try to drink quite a bit of it. See how it happens. How it tastes. See ya. <laughs> All right, Steven is here. We are about to try the steaming warm boob milk. It is actually really She warm. just pumped this. Did you hear that? Yeah. It hissed. I'm not looking for it at all. Dude. It hissed at me. How much do we want? Fill it up. Oh my gosh, dude. I am not oh. looking forward to this. That actually makes me want to throw up. It's warm. How warm is it? I would throw up. Oh, that is so warm. warm. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I need a like, chaser, like a 3D. There's none left. <laughs> Get me something, like water. <laughs> dude. Oh. <laughs> What? Okay, I need a second opinion. You know, I can think it's disgusting. You, you could like it, so no. we need two people's opinions. You re you really don't. Of course, we have no water. Water is okay. You just know I was here. The we only go. Crazy enough right, to do so it. So we're gonna smell first. Yeah, then we got to we, we gotta get the nose on it this. It smells like nothing. We gotta get the nose on this puppy. You agree? There's no smell. It literally, it's doesn't. warm as heck. It is really warm. Okay, whatever. I'll take a little bit. <laughs> We need to, we, yeah, this is, we need to do, oh my gosh, I dude. Throw up if this we need to I'm a, not kidding. I'm this is a sip, a sip, a sip, a sip, and taste. A sip. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. It's not bad. <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. It's so weird, though. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> I actually don't think it's bad at all. What do you think? I think oh. it's 
the idea of it. It's the, it's the idea <laughs> that really it's throws me. It's honestly pretty dude. sweet. It's, I, I think it's sweet. It's like vanilla. Not, yeah, it really, it's, it's like vanilla almond milk. <laughs> Let's try it again. Why why is this acceptable? Are you gonna start mixing it with your protein? <laughs> oh god. That's actually not bad at all. I'm not kidding you. Nice job, babe. <laughs> Alright, you ready to take the shot? Let's do it. Okay, we'll just let's Why is this ready? a thing? Why is this a thing? Oh. oh. It's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, when you take that much of it, though, it's God. not bad. <laughs> You're so good, babe. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Honestly, I could drink that all day. It's pretty sweet, high in protein. I'm guessing. What do you think? You're guessing. Yeah. I'm guessing it's. High I wonder in what protein. the nutrients are in this puppy. I'm, the idea gets me more than the actual flavor. That's true. That's honestly better than the cow boob milk. <laughs> like if someone is like, "Hey, this is something you have to drink every day," I'd do it. It wouldn't be that 9 bad. out of 10. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit like. Thank you. Goodbye.